sa Kadoya Blue Web and Acer Aspire and no power here's the charger let's test the voltage and we have 19 volts we plug it here and we have no charging light The laptop one power on. So let's check again the charger. And we have no voltage on. It means that we have a shorted main board. It's an original Acer charger. It has a circuit protection. So let's plug it again. And plug in plug. Plug in and plug. And then charge the test again. We have 19 volts. Okay, so let's open it. So, you know what's the problem? Okay, the next process is isolation process. Now, so we remove the battery, we remove the CMOS battery, the battery, built in battery, all the terminal, no speaker, key keyboard, touchpad, CPU pan. LCD and also the Wi-Fi card no? so in our isolation process we find out that we have a fault in our battery no? when the battery is plugged the charger won't turn on the indicator light won't turn on so what, what we will do is we will find our schematic diagram for this brain board so that we able to diagnose or identify which is our fault maybe we have fault in our main board our charging IC or here in our output output pin no so I think the battery I'm not I'm not that sure but it's not bulge no if it, if it, if it if it is faulty, most common issue is it is it has a bumps no lobe here. What do you call that in Tagalog? We call it lobo no bulge. I think it is in English it is bulge or pop. It is popping up. The battery is popping up. Okay, we will remove the battery first. There is a visual inspection. If there is a, hmm, I think the battery is good. So we have to download schematic diagram to be sure that is that if the battery is faulty or the main board is faulty. So let's go. Let's download it. So we downloaded our uh, schematic schematic diagram. We downloaded it from Google. Here, no. just type the board number. Here is our board number. No. I already removed the motherboard from our laptop, so I removed the RAM so that we and. Underneath the RAM slot, there is our board number. In some other laptop, it's not always placed here. No? So here is our board number, which is my camera is too not too sharp. If we able to earn here in YouTube, I think we are able to replace our camera. <laughs> so please subscribe, no? and follow, and like, also comment. No? D A Z D A zero Z HPMB okay that's our board number so we downloaded it from Google here it, here it is our schematic diagram no? this is our black diagram so li let us look for our uh, battery terminal so we are able, able to find the fault here from our diagnostic before now so here is our black diagram. Let's look for battery terminal. 
touch pad. The touch pad. Anyways, our charger or battery terminal is always placed in the bottom of our schematic. So let's scroll it down. This is this. I think it's here. Charger, can you see? Here. Charger. This is our PU2. This is our charging IC. So. for our battery terminal here here is our battery terminal so we have 10 10 pins and in our board we only have eight can you see that so it is possible that our plate here's the plate now the plate from the battery terminal which is also connected to ground from end to end, it is connected to ground. I think it is the pin 9 and 10. No. So the other pin, the 8 pin, this is it. From 1 to 8. No. So pin 9 and 10, which is the plate, is connected to ground. 1 and 2 is also connected to ground. 3 and 4 is connected to resistor. 5 and 6 is also connected to resistor, which is the pin number 6 is connected to ground. The resistor is connected to ground. And 7 and 8. This is our battery output terminal. No. This is the voltage is, which is going to our main board. If the charger charger is unplugged. So let's test if we have a short here from pin number three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Let's test it if we have a short to ground. I also see there's a switch near our charging IC. Let's look for it. We'll find it here. The MOSFET is also MOSFET. Mind, uh, we'll just look for the battery terminal and we will test it there in our tester. We have a microscope to find if there is any corrosion near our charging IC. And then we have power supply for voltage injection if we have volt in our capacitor. So we are able to isolate which capacitor is shorted to ground. Let's see first why it is not charging. Right. Okay, let's see if we have a uh, corroded, corroded charging IC. Very clean charging IC. You see that? We have no corrosion in our pin. So I think it's clean. And yeah, let's make it sure that it is clean. So clean it with our top cleaner. And then to make it sure that there's no shorted, we will test it by our desktop. Okay, let's test. Let's put our tester to diet mode. No. Diet mode. No. Zero, zero, 003. We have short in zero, zero, 003. So let's look first for the ground. Now here's the ground. This is pin 
10 and 9 See? Then the pin number 1 Okay Pin number 2 Connected to ground Okay Our pin number 3 and 4 Should not be connected to ground If it is We have a short Okay It's not not pin 3 and 4 not connected to ground pin 5 not also pin 6 okay it's not pin uh, 7 and 8 this is the supply bot supplied pin from the battery okay not it's also not connected to the ground. So we have no fault here in our board. No. Let's press the switch. Same response. It is not also connect. There's no short. So it is possible that we have a damaged battery. So we will try to open it without a battery. And let's see if it will it, it, if it if it will run fine no it, if it will if it will turn on <laughs> my tongue is twisted okay my, my nose my nose is bleeding <laughs> okay see that no. this is a cell phone camera eh. this is more reliable than our then our web camera so can you see that what I am talking about before we only have 8 pins so count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the other 2 pin is the plate connected to ground from end to end no here it is pin 10 pin 9 no so we have no short. Let's, let's assemble it again and then try to turn it on. Okay, after the long process, let's test it if it is powering on. No. The charger is already plugged. We will press the power button. Indicator light comes out. Oh, is your logo. <laughs> 